Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for Falcon issue number one. And I overall enjoyed this issue. It did a good job of setting up Sam's new kind of status quo and series of going back to being named the Falcon instead of Captain America. And they did a pretty good job. They started off kind of like reintroducing us to this character. He's like flying around, he stops a drive-by shooting, him telling him that he went from Captain America to being back to himself to do what he's trying to do and kind of like aid communities and all that. And seeing him talk about doing the BS and everything, kind of like shaking hands with the mayor of Chicago, doing their stuff to kind of like clean up the streets and everything. And of course, the mayor seems kind of a little bit weird when we first meet him. Now, granted, you think it's the typical kind of politician BS, but we see more going on through the issue. So, of course, he uh, talks to Rayshon, who is the new patriot, and who Sam's uh, taken under his wing. And I really kind of like this dynamic because it shows Sam still doing stuff that Steve would do, like when Steve had, like, taken on Sam as his partner and kind of, like, helping to train him and everything. Sam is now doing that with Rayshon as the patriot. And, of course, he's telling him he's got to, like, skip their training session because he's in Chicago to kind of deal with everything going on there. And then he's working it with Brother Voodoo as well. And, of course, he says that he, sh he doesn't think that Rayshon should come there yet. But, of course, he's able to talk to Misty and he's like, all right, fine. Because Rayshon puts up a very good argument. He's like, listen, I kind of, you guys don't really talk about these kind of communities being hurt like this, you talk about like the universe and the cosmic kind of stuff, but I kind of want to get the full thing and like help the community and all that. And he's like, dang it, Misty was right. So they get into it and Sam pretty much is like, okay, so there's two groups and gangs, two groups, gangs that we got to like get under control, the South Stone Rangers and Spanish Kings. So I'm going to go for the Rangers, you, Rayshon, go for the Spanish Kings. And... It's like, oh, that's pretty big to be like, all right, you go and do this by yourself. It's like, wow, that's a, putting a good amount of responsibility on Rayshon. I'm like, man, that's cool. So, of course, we see Sam go with the Rangers. And, of course, the head guy, Dre, is kind of like not having what he's doing. And they're like talking about everything. And Sam does this, says this line about like how Steve had lied to him for like years. And I'm like, that was kind of a weird kind of way, because I thought that it had been pretty much knowledge that uh, Steve's history had been rewritten by Kobik and the Cosmic Cube. Now, granted, there could have been other issues that I hadn't, like, read into, like the Omega series or other connecting stuff. And I'm like, Steve usually has been on the level with Sam most of the time, except for being pretty much turned into a Hydra agent. So I'm like, this is kind of... A little bit weird, but okay. So he like goes into like talking into him, but then of course the gang kind of like comes at him, but Sam's able to like pretty much get him into, <laughs> he kicks their asses, but not like really severely and is still trying to convince the head guy to get to this meeting to just hash it out and call a truce with the Spanish kings. And of course most of the gang get behind Sam and wanting to do this. It's like, okay, we'll do this your way, bird man. So, of course, then we cut to seeing Rayshon kind of going with the Spanish Kings, and he's having a little bit of trouble, but not pretty much the same amount of trouble that Sam was having. And it was kind of cool seeing his kind of different tactic, kind of using a shield and all that, and having like a kind of screech attack with it. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, of course, he doesn't have as hard of a time with the Spanish Kings because that are, their leader seems more amiable to stopping the violence and everything. But, hey, Here's what we've got. We're trying to meet it for a truce and all that, and let's go do that. So I was like, oh, okay, we'll try that out. So, of course, then we get to Sam and Rayshon kind of, like, talking about everything, and we get Sam being shaken with Steve and all that. We get a better picture of it towards this part of the comic, how he sees that uh, Steve's betrayal as a Hydra agent really kind of tried to validate the strong dominating the weak kind of argument and that he's trying to instill hope back into communities by like fighting all of this and he feels really hurt and wounded by what Steve did in Secret Empire and I really get that it was a big kind of betrayal moment 
but Sam has also had his history rewritten by the Cosmic Cube as well. So I would think that he'd have a little bit more leeway with what happened with Steve and all that, but granted, he does realize that heroes in general have to rehabilitate their kind of image and kind of change their tactics because you've got to understand that if you just focus on the cosmic elements and let the smaller things go, they will eventually turn into those bigger things that will just destroy the people themselves rather than having a Galactus or some other outside entity do it for them. So, of course, Ray Sean's trying to, like, get him into a better mood, and they, like, go to a concert and everything, and that was pretty cool. So, we then get to the whole uh, kind of true skit setting up. We see Gray and the head of the Spanish Kings, and we had seen that there was this kind of uh, pendant kind of, like, thing that the mayor was wearing that we'd seen previously when Sam was meeting with him, because the mayor was casting aspersions that he could possibly be pretending to be a hero as well and question his jurisdiction, but like Sam threw it back, I see all of the U.S. as my jurisdiction since I'm a hero trying to help people. And we see that this same thing is on Dre's hand as he touches Sam and Sam's unable to move, and then Dre proceeds to shoot the leader of the Spanish Kings. All chaos ensues, and like, what the hell? So then we get to it, and we see that the Dre guy runs to the mayor. It's like, what the hell? And we start here seeing what's going on in his mind, that he's trying to subjugate humanity since all these other entities failed, and that it's Blackheart. And I'm like, that's kind of a twist. This is an interesting villain for Sam, because this villain is usually associated with Ghost Rider and the supernatural kind of elements. Like, how is Sam going to go after this kind of guy? And Because I kind of like the element of Sam trying to just bring a peaceful resolution to this situation of gangs and everything, and now we've got an up to a superhero villain kind of element and that kind of thing behind it. So it'll be interesting to see how he kind of, like, figures this out. So, overall, I really liked what this comic did to set up kind of where we're going with Sam at the moment, and I really thought the artwork was pretty good. It showed a lot of expression. It did a lot of cool action scenes. I really like Rayshon's drawing for, like, his costume, and I really like Sam's new costume, and him talking about how it's, like, new tech and everything, and that he's got to get used to it, but don't let the suit make you be you. Don't let that new technology and stuff kind of, like, take over for you. And it's the man in the suit that matters rather than the suit itself. So I'm really liking the dynamic that they've had, and I can't wait to see kind of how they're going to use Blackheart as an interesting villain for Sam. So those are my opinions on the com on the issue. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.